The common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, it has a regional policy and an implementation plan which we call COMBIP. So it's one of the objectives of the COMBIP is uh, awareness and communication. And farmers are the key stakeholders in this awareness and communication activity. So that's why we, we partnered with uh, ISA and the others to organize this workshop here. Frankly, I, I thought the Kenyan uh, progress was stalled somewhere, but uh, from this workshop I have learned that uh, it's not all lost. It's, uh, there is a very high enthusiasm from the farmers, and uh, probably we need to, uh, to reach out a larger number of farmers to explain and demystify about this technology. The information I had before, I, I heard that GMO is, a dangerous, is dangerous to human beings. So I had a very raw opinion of GMO. But today I have the good, good information from the scientists or the, the bodies who have contributed this message that GMO is not harmful. I have run a road and I have decided as from today uh, Sasa I am for GMO and I will try my level best to teach my fellow farmers. What I learned out of this meeting is that I came to find that there are lots of civil society whom do not talk the facts, but only propagandas, and we cannot entertain such propagandas because we need to talk of facts from the science and from persons who have done practical things. And there is evidence of what one is talking, but not just uh, rumors about the badness of GMO. One way I thought or I learned from this workshop is religious leaders could be our entry points to the farmers. I, can, I, can, I have noticed they are influential and they are not, uh, they, are not uh, they don't have a fixed position. They, are here, they were here only to learn. So if we give them accurate and better and more information, I think they can reach out to a wider number of farmers. There before I didn't know about what is GMO. I have a hundred, but uh, I couldn't handle it in the best way possible because I didn't have that knowledge. But uh, with the uh, experts who, whom we had in, the, in this uh, meeting, the scientists, in this conference, in fact, I've been able to understand the issue of GMO in a more deeper way, such that I can also explain to anybody, be it my Christians, be it the, the society, without any fear of contradiction. So, and uh, GMO, as I have learned from this conference, in fact, uh, is something to embrace. Some of the farmers, I have seen the enthusiasm to even in to asking us how can we help to influence policy? So these are some of the things which we have to probably sit down and, and strategize so that uh, governments also should listen to, uh, to, to the populace, which are the beneficiaries of this technology, basically farmers.